Okay, boys and girls, today is a review day for two of our Tall Tale heroes. And then you'll take a quiz before we start learning about some more Tall Tale heroes. So today, you're going to review Paul Bunyan and Pecos Bill. All right, you should have already reviewed by watching the videos of the read alouds of both of our stories. All right, you notice we have some more on here. All right, we are going to read two more this week, but I am not going to tell you which two. You're just going to have to look and see if you can predict which two right quick while I move and let's go over your vocabulary. So look and see what you think we may read next. Hmm, I wonder what will be next. All right, let's go over vocabulary for Paul Bunyan. All right, Paul Bunyan, a famous lumberjack. All right, admiration. It's a deep feeling of respect and liking. Who had admiration for Paul Bunyan? The other lumberjacks. The other lumberjacks admired or respected Paul. They really liked him. They looked up to him in more than one way. They looked up to him because he was big, but they also looked up to him because they thought he was a great person. Okay? Admiration. Next word is colossal, unbelievably large or great. All right, in the story, the frying pan was colossal. What did they use that big frying pan for? Yeah, to make Paul and Babe those huge flapjacks for breakfast. Remember, they even had two men to skate around with bacon on their feet. All right. Colossal. Had to put a forest fire under there to even cook them. The next word is frontier. Alright, the frontier was the setting or the place where most of your tall tales happen. Alright, that is the unsettled part of the American West. Remember, Miss Fires told you during that time the United States was not all like it is now. There were a lot of places in the United States that people didn't live yet. It was still a bunch of trees and people didn't live there. And so it was called the frontier because no one lived there. And as people moved out west, they would clear the land and start to build towns. And that was called the frontier. What's it called? Yeah, the frontier, that unsettled land. An inseparable. Always together in Paul Bunyan, who was inseparable? Paul and Babe. Always together. All right, now let's review vocabulary from Pecosville. Feel that rattlesnake. This is lasso. All right, first word is energy. All right, the power or ability to be active. All right, who had a lot of energy? Yeah, Paul did. And obviously, all the other children in the family had a lot of energy. We could tell at the beginning. Persuaded. Calls to do something by asking, convincing, or arguing. Who persuaded or convinced Paul? I mean, excuse me, Pecos. Who convinced Pecos Bill that he was not a coyote? It was the cowboy. All right, the cowboy had to do a lot of persuading to convince Paul keep calling him Paul, Pecos, that he was not a coyote. He really thought he was. All right, relaxed. To loosen control. In the story, Pecos Bill 
had the rattlesnake by the throat and he was choking him. And after a while, he said, I'll loosen up if you'll say uncle. And finally he did. And what did he start to do? He relaxed and loosened up a little bit so the snake could breathe, right? Relaxed. All right, tamed. Train to obey. What wild animal did Pecos Bill tame? Now we know he can tame horses. That's a given. A lot of cowboys can tame horses. What animal did Pecos Bill tame? A mountain lion. Can you imagine? Yes. Now let's think about some animals and you tell me if they're tame or not. Right, your dog at home. Is your dog tame? Yes, dogs are tame. That means they're trained to obey for the most part. They listen. Okay, what about a lion at the zoo? Are they tame? No, they are not. All right, what about fish? Would that be a tame animal? Yes. Okay. What about um, a tiger? No, they're wild. Okay, they're not going to listen to you when you tell them to stop. Okay, so that's the difference. Okay, now let's go back in to our tall tails. Listen. All right, so what is a tall tale again? It's a story that was passed down by an oral tradition. Remember we said people used to, when they were in those days, they were traveling out west in their covered wagons. When they would stop to rest by the campfire, they would pass down these stories by oral traditions. That means they would tell it by mouth. It wasn't written down. And when they would tell them, they would exaggerate or stretch the truth. They would have characters that are heroes with superhuman powers. So they would have jobs like people during that time, but the way they do things are super silly sometimes and it's exaggerated. The way they do it could not really happen in real life. All right, tall tales were first told in America by the settlers who made their homes in the American wilderness. In those days, people didn't have TV, computers, or electric lights to read by, so they told stories for their entertainment. That was their way of having fun. All right, so we've read about Johnny Appleseed. Paul Bunyan, the lumberjack. Pecos Bill, the cowboy. Now, we are going to complete a Venn diagram to compare and contrast these two characters. All right, now a Venn diagram is a way that we can show how is this person different, this person different, but where they overlap right here in the middle, this is how they're the same. So different, different, the same. All right, so let's think about ways that Paul and Pecos Bill are different to start with. First off, what do we know about Paul? What was Paul's job? Paul was a lumberjack. And what was Pecos Bill's job? He was a cowboy. So I'm going to tighten them and drag them down to the boxes.
What else is different about them? Think about the way they were raised. How was the way Paul was raised different than the way Pecos was raised? Who raised Paul? Yeah, Mom and Dad. What about Pecos Bill? A coyote raised him. All right, so let's put those in. Okay, can you think of anything else that's very different about them? All right. Who did Paul have as a friend? All right. He had Babe the Blue Ox. buddies at the end, they weren't as close as Paul and his buddy, but we could say he did have some friends that helped him in the end. Who were they? The mountain lion and the, the rattlesnake. All right, so we can add those in. about both of them. Where did they both go? They both went out west. They both went out west. They didn't go to the exact same places, but they both did go out west. They're the same. All right, there's one thing that both stories tell us they created. Can you think of what that was? They said Paul did it by hitching up Babe and going through, and he made mountains on each side as he did it. And they said Pecos Bill made this by riding a tornado or a cyclone. What was it they dug? Do you remember? The Grand Canyon. All right, so that's something that's the same. They said they both dug the Grand Canyon. But we know both of those were uh, an example of exaggeration right but it says both of them did it we can put this in the middle
now we have ways how they are the same and how they are different. Look at all the ways we thought of, and there are lots more we could go through. You think of some other ways and share them with someone at home. Okay, you're going to go into the separate quiz assignment. You can have someone read the questions to you two times. You click the answer independently yourself for the best answer, okay? Do your best. If you haven't watched the videos for the read-alouds for Paul Bunyan and Pecos Field, do that first before you take the quiz, okay? Make sure you've watched them both before you take your quiz today. Do your very best work. I know you guys are going to make great grades today, okay? Thank you.